वेलकम वंस अगेन टू द अवल एकेडमी ऑफ एजुकेशन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आईसीएसई क्लास 7 मैथ्स चैप्टर 4 एक्सरसाइज 4c वी हैव सीन अप टू 4p इन माय अर्लियर वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 4c व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ डेसिमल टू स्टार्ट the exercise we have to do some we have to play some basic points right for multiplication of decimals we have divided this in three parts we will understand it in three parts first is multiplication of a decimal by 10 100 thousand 10 thousand lakh that is multiples of 10 we will understand multiplication of a decimal by 10 100,000 by example for example we want to multiply 8.97 by 10 right now you have for multiplying with multiples of 10 you have you don't have to undergo the traditional method of multiplication right simply this figure 8 9 7 and 0 of this figure right now decimal is here after one number one decimal place we have to shift it according to the zeros shift it to the right when we move this side in a number, this is called the right side. Right side movement. When we move this side, this is called left side movement. Okay. Now we have to move right side. How many places according to the zero? Well, uh, one zero. We will shift it by one place. Right. This decimal will shift in here uh, our answer will become 89.70 or 89.7 right now if we another uh, take, uh, take another example um, 6.748 uh, we multiply with it. 100 right now write this figure simply to it and now we want to we have to move it two decimal places to the right because we have here two zeros here one two this decimal will be here right this will be our answer now if we want to multiply 5.9768 by 1000 no need to panic write simply 5, 9, 7, 6, 8. How many zeros? 3 zeros. So we will move our decimal to 3 after 3 in our answer. Right? So 1, 2, 3. Our answer will this become this. Right? So this was multiplication of a decimal by multiples of 10 that is 10, 100, 1000, etc. Now uh, we will take another example. We have to multiply 6.
suppose we have to multiply uh, 9.5 by 100. So here, there is only one decimal place, but our answer requ has, requires setting of two zeros. So we will set it by putting zeros. Right? So 9, 5, write it simply, only to many double zeros. This is our answer. Now, there are two zeros, we will shift our answer to uh, our decimal to after two decimal places. One is here, one is this. So our decimal will come here. 9, our answer becomes 950.0. In the same way, uh, 8.76 have to be multiplied by 1000. No need to panic. Write it full 876 and 3 zeros of it. Right? Now, 3 zeros, we have to move our decimal to 3 places. 2 are here, 3 third is here. So our decimal place 1, 2, 3 decimal will become will come here. Answer becomes 8760.00. No need to write zeros. Now if we want to multiply 0 0.9 by 1000. No need to panic. Write 9, write 1000. Now we have 3 zeros, so we have to multiply. Uh, so we have to shift our decimal after 3 places. 1 is here. 1, 2, 2, 3. Our answer will, our decimal will come here. Answer will, will become 9, 100. Right? This was decimal, multiplication of decimal by multiples of 10. Now we will move on to number second part that is multiplication of a decimal by a whole number. by a whole multiplication of decimal by a whole number right so we will understand this by example so we have to multiply 2.8 with 16 so students no need to panic here multiply this number without decimal right so if one, I want to multiply this number without decimal I will do it here Right, I can do it by shortcut. You, you will do it by longer in the traditional way. So, it's the 48 or 6 to 6 to the uh, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 8. 24 2 204 so our answer will become 4 4 8 now we have to put decimal in it as here it is after 1 so we will here it is 1 decimal place we will move our decimal in our answer from the right to left 
according to the this decimal places that is one our answer will become 44.8 right now if i take another example mm, 3.54 have to multiply it with 13 so if you are familiar with tables we have learned tables well you can do it directly 13 for the 52 13 5 the 65 plus 570 07 33 39 plus 7 46 now here are two decimal places we will put our decimal in our answer after two places beginning from the right to left 1 2 here our decimal this is our answer now suppose we want to multiply 0.423 with 15 so those who have done tables well <coughs> they can easily do the multiplication their importance of table arises so 15 3 ja 45 5 15 2 ja 30 plus 4 34 3 15 4 ja 60 plus 363 now how many places decimal places are there 1 2 3 you will put 1 2 3 here our decimal this is our answer right students so now we will move on to our third portion that is <coughs> multiplication of a decimal by a decimal by a decimal now students this is important suppose we want to multiply 34.5 by 0 0.23 right so you can do it easily in the rough work in the same traditional way right i will do it by shortcut 16 3 6 18 1 4 3 12 plus 1 13 13 uh, plus uh, 62 is 12 25 5 2 3 is 9 plus 2 11 11 0 6 is 0 4 is 8 plus 11 19 9 1 3 is 6 plus 1 7 4 0 0 3 0 0 so this will be our answer after doing in a traditional way now we have to put decimals so here are two decimal places here is one de decimal place so add these number of decimal places two decimal places plus one decimal places one decimal place three so now we will put our decimal in our answer from three places beginning from right one two three so we will put our decimal here 7.958 will be our answer right we will take another example 3.05 have to multiply by 0 0.75 right so do it in the traditional way simple way 305 by 75 we will do multiplication by this i will do a shortcut by putting zero here 5 5 are 25 5 zero are 0 7 5 are 35 plus 2 37 3 
फाइव थ्री या फिफ्टीन प्लस थ्री एटीन फाइव जीरो जीरो सेवन जीरो जीरो एटीन ए वन सेवन थ्री या ट्वेंटी वन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी टू सो आवर आंसर विल बिकम टू टू एट सेवन फाइव नाउ हाउ मैन डेसिमल प्लेसेज आर देयर टू फ्रॉम हेयर टू फ्रॉम हेयर टू प्लस टू फोर We have to put decimal after four decimal places. We will find right one, two, three, four. This is our answer: two point two eight seven five. Right, students. So these are the basic steps towards multiplication. Now we will start our exercise four C given in your map. Exercise. So C. Question one. Solution. So I have uh, already dictated you about this. First of all, take part four. Two point three four five divided. Multiply hundred. Write it simply. Two, three, four, five. How many zeros? Two. We will move zeros to two places. As we have two zeros, we will move decimal to two places. On here, our decimal will be here. Two point two three four point. Five, right? Now we will move on to question part ninth. Zero point two eight three multiply thousand. So we will two eight three one two three. So we have to move. This decimal place, how many places? I forget the three zeros. So our decimal will be on here after two decimal places, two or three point zero, right? Move on to part ten. Six point two five have to be multiplied with thousand. Write it as six two five three zero four six. Now we have to shift our decimal. How many was three? There are two decimal places, so one two three. Our answer will become six two five zero. Right? And in the eleven or Zero point three has to be multiplied by thousand. No need to panic. Three, these three zeros put here. Now three zeros, three decimal places. One decimal place is here. One two. So our answer will become three hundred. Right. Students. So this was your. <coughs> First part, the first question. Remaining parts are your homework. Remaining parts of this question are your homework. Right. Now move on to question second. Multiply. I will do part second. Three point four five five seventeen. So, sir, who has learned table? It is easy for them. Those who have not learned tables, do it. Addition by multiplication. Seventeen five is eighty-five five, right? Seventeen four is sixty-eight plus eight seventy-six seven. Seventeen three is Fifty one plus seven fifty eight decimal is two decimal places 
counting from left one two counting from right one two right now part fifth of question second zero point zero two three have to multiply with sixty five so two three sixty five multiply do this five three is a fifteen one five three is a ten plus one eleven sixteen three is a eighteen plus eleven twenty nine nine here six three is a twelve plus two fourteen one four nine five so our answer is one four nine five now we have to put decimals three decimal places are here to so count from right to left one two three one one point four nine five is our answer right students so this was our second questions to part remaining part are your homework if you face any difficulty go to the comment section of our channel and put your raise your difficulty there we will certainly solve it out now question number 3 we will do part third third is 0.37 0.26. Again, do multiplication in the this way. Six seven ja forty two four will carry six three ja eighteen plus four twenty two seven ja two ja fourteen fourteen plus twenty two thirty six thirty six six. Will here three carry three two ja six plus three nine. So our answer is nine six two. Now decimal places counting two decimal places here two decimal places here four. But we have three in the answer. We will put uh, put decimal from right to left one two three. So we will uh, fulfill our fourth. Decimal place by putting zero here and decimal here. Our answer will become zero point zero nine six two. Right. Now we will do part fifth. Part fifth is five point six four multiplied zero point zero eight. It's uh, simply do it. Eight seven eight four ja thirty two three eight six ja forty eight plus three fifty one five eight five ja forty plus five forty five. So our answer is this. Now decimal places two decimal places are here. Two here four one two three four here put decimal and zero zero point four five one two. Right. So this was our now remaining are easy remaining parts are easy you have you will do at your own they are your own work. Now question four. Question four ten students part first solution two point three multiplied zero point two three multiplied zero point one now no need to panic twenty three by twenty three. Right, twenty three three is sixty nine. Twenty two, twenty three two is forty six plus six fifty two. So 
here is answer over is 529 now decimal place is one decimal place two decimal place one decimal place so total decimal place is 1 plus 2 3 plus 1 4 but our in our answer there are three digits we will make them four by putting zero here i have done a gap zero point zero five two nine is our answer right now take part third which is zero point six multiply one point five multiply zero point seven now three divisions those who have done it first uh, we will do uh, 15 multiplied by 6 this is simply in this way without a symbol 15 6 ja 90 97 ja 963 our answer is 630 and now counting of decimal places one decimal place one one three decimal places our zero will be here Our decimal will be here zero point sixty three, right? So you can do it easily. Now, if you want to do part six zero point six multiplied zero point zero six multiplied zero point zero zero six. So no need to panic. Do it. Six multiplied six multiplied six. Six six is a thirty-six. Thirty-six six is a two one six. Right. So two one six is our answer. Now we have to put decimal places. Three decimal places. Three plus two five plus one six decimal places. But we have only three digits. We will make them six by putting three zeros. One two three. Zero zero zero. Now there are six one two three four five six. Put decimal here and zero. So this is our answer. So this was our question four. Remaining parts of it are your homework. Do it at home practice. Then they are. Now move on to question five. Question five is evaluate what solution? Evaluate is one point three square. One point three square means one point three has to be multiplied by one point three. So in the rough, you will do here thirteen by thirteen. Thirteen, thirteen, ja. Thirteen, three, ja. Thirteen, nine. Thirteen, one, ja. Thirteen plus three, one, six, two. So our answer is one, six, nine. Right? How many decimal places? One, one, two. We will put decimal after. We will put decimal places. One, two. One point six nine is our answer. Right? Now second. Second is zero point zero six. Zero point zero six square means you have to multiply zero point zero six by zero point zero six. So six by six becomes thirty six. Now decimal place is two plus two four. We have only two digits. Make them four by two digits. Zero point zero zero three six. Next is two uh, third zero point two two. Two plus four two is eight. This this means zero point two multiplied zero point two multiplied zero point two. Two plus four two is eight. Three decimal places one two three. This is one. We will make them three by two two zero zero point zero zero. It is our answer. Now, question number four is your homework. Do we add home practice? Just like question number three. Right. Now we will move on to question number six.
the cost of one pen is rupees forty two point two five. Find the cost of one dozen such pen. One dozen equal to twelve. Right. So cost of one pen equal to rupees forty two point two five. In one dozen there are twelve. Therefore, cost of one dozen equal to twelve pens. So cost of one pen is less. Twelve pens will be more. So for more, we do multiplication. Forty-two point two five multiplied by twelve. Those who know the tables can do it easily. Others have to do it in the uh, rough work. Twelve five is sixty zero. Twelve two is twenty four. Plus six thirty zero three carry. Twelve two is four plus three. Twelve to the twenty-four plus three, twenty-seven. Two carry twelve four to the forty-eight plus two, fifty. So now we will put our decimal. How many point decimal points? Two, one, two. So our answer will be rupees five zero seven. Cost of twelve pence is five zero seven. Right. Question number seven is easy. It is your homework. A car moves at constant speed of fifty-six point two four kilometers per hour. How much distance will come in? Three point five hours. Simply multiplication. Right. Question seven. Solution. I want to do it. We will write it as distance. Covered in one hour equal to fifty-six point four kilometer. Covered in distance covered in three point five hours. One hour less distance, three point five hours are more. So for more, we will do multiply into three point five. You can do multiplication. Do it at home. That will be your answer. All right. Now question number eight. The room is four point five meter long and three point eight meter broad. Calculate length of room. This is equal to five point four point five meter breadth. Breadth of room is equal to uh, 3.8 meter. Area is equal to length into breadth is equal to 4.5 multiplied by 3.8. Answer will be meter square. Do your multiplication at your home. Right. Question nine. Is your homework? Do it yourself. If if you face any difficulty, you can write us in the comment section of our channel. So, students, this was your exercise for C. Up to fourth week, we have done in our earlier videos. If you understand it, likes it, then. share it more and more and subscribe to students like you more and more students so that they can also be helped thanks and goodbye till next video do your homework efficiently